See, there's a weird thing if you're a guy, right? If you're a guy, you don't get paid for having a dick. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> right? Well, no, fortunately. God, you want to be that kind of person? Yee. You want no, to be this no, right. uh, vagina parasite that inhales wallets up her cooch without even crouching? Yee. Some sort of reverse vacuum cleaner that hoovers coins out of penises? <laughs> Right? I mean, that's not what you want, right? You don't want to be that. Like, we don't know what it's like to get paid for having an organ. Right. right? But I, yes. I'm very much into the equality of the sexes. I'm very, like, I listen to women when they say we want to be equal. Which means not being a whole-based parasite. But now the question is that great women, the, the great women, what are her, uh, let's say, uh, or do they even have financial expectations? Because well, what is it like? No, I wouldn't say so. I mean, I wouldn't say that they have financial expectations at all. Right. If she is somebody with ill-defined plans for the future. What, what do you who mean by is, ill-defined? Sorry? Well, if she's not currently studying to be something and going to be something and is pursuing a child to dream of becoming something. Mm, okay. But if she's like in school taking some arty thing with no particular prospect, then she's there to get her MRS, right? Degree. Soon to get her ex-MRS and alimony, palimony, and, you know, one nutsack in the Hermes bag to MRS? go. MRS? Right? You lost me there. <laughs> Oh, uh, MRS is Mrs. MRS is uh, Mrs. So she's there to get oh, married. Oh, oh. Yeah, right, yeah, she's yeah. there to bag a man. Gotcha. So if, if she's very sexual and if she has ill-defined plans, then she's looking to ride, ride, ride the tube stake into Cash Junction, right? If she doesn't have any finances to handle or is bad at fa handling the finances that she has, that's a bad sign, right? Because basically, she's then looking for someone to pay her bills, right? No, well, I mean, you ask, right? No, you, you ask any woman who's out of college, you know, say, well, do you invest? Do you, I mean, do you have, like, what do you do with your money? And um, that's, you know, if she's in some, I don't know, look, you're obviously an intelligent guy, right? I mean, but if she's in some career with no particular potential nobody wants to be exploited I'm basically saying <laughs> that men should become Marxists and look to the women, not the capitalists. Be a Marxist. Reject exploitation. Reject being a wage slave. And, and promote women to equality. You know, why, why, should, why, can't you pay, why can't you play tennis while she goes to work? Well, that sounds good now that you... <laughs> yeah. yeah, but... But try offering that to a woman. I got a great idea. I'll raise the kids. And you go work 60 hours a week to provide for us. A woman wants a man who can provide to her while she is pregnant. And I, I was just going over the math with this, with my daughter, right? And um, so, you know, we were saying, look, if she wants three kids, right? So she's five, right? And we just talked. She didn't originally want kids. Now she does, right? So we we're just talking about it, right? So I was saying, well, if you want three kids, uh, then... 
you know, you, is it really responsible to say, I want to go and be a doctor when you're trying to have a baby? Well, and she said no, right? And we talked about that some, right? And she said, well, because, you know, um, maybe there's some woman who doesn't want kids or some guy who's going to go be a doctor and actually go be a doctor rather than, right? Because she knows how important it is to stay home with the kids, right? So it takes most women about six months to get pregnant. So if you get married and you want to have kids fairly quickly, it's not a great idea to go and start some monstrous high-powered career if you're going to stay home with your kids, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what you should be doing. Whether you know, It could be the husband, but it's the woman who's got the feedback. So she's the one who's going to have the children tethered to all that beneficial nutrition. So, you know, six months to get pregnant, nine months to bring the child to term, a year and a half of breastfeeding. You do that three times, and then you have to get your kids to at least the age of five or six until they can go to school, right? Mm -hmm. So here we're talking 10 to 12 years. Now, somebody's got to be paying the bills during that time, right? Yeah. And so a woman wants to make herself... Uh, attractive so that a man will want to have sex with her. 